Like I said before, Chile is not used to being here in the, <laughs> in, in, the in the finals. Oh, we need a coach as well. Okay. I'll do it. Ah, why not? Big moments. History for Chile. Is it going to be a medal? Costa Fernandez battling forward. Kuchmi trying to hang on in here. Costa Fernandez was this year's runner up in the Pan American Games. In a, in a fairly tough field, Pan American Games at heavyweight at the 130 kilogram was, was very stacked. And he came through, made it to the finals, and lost to um, Topino to, to get here. Lost to Pino, but perhaps losing the penalty point here. The referee had a little look at it. One hand was up. It's Kuchmi. Getting very close to the danger zone. The Ukrainian trying to circle, but the bullish power of Acosta Fernandez. He gets one little underhook in as well. All action from Acosta Fernandez, and that's going to pay off. Not quite yet, I think both have a passivity now. In the next couple of seconds, we're going to have to see. Passive point. Costa Fernandez leaning on now. There that is. Ties broken. Two passivity calls against Kuchmi of Ukraine. Last 45 seconds, opening period here. I like the way Acosta Fernandez is using his length and trying to go all the way to the far hip. I feel like he has the reach advantage in this bout. And he certainly invested a lot of energy. As the Cuban by way of Chile, Acosta Fernandez. Kuchmi knows that he's up against it in this one. Can the Ukrainian find something into the last 20? Watching this first three minutes, I feel like Acosta Fernandez has done the majority of the work. For sure. Been close to scoring a couple of times, uh, just hasn't been able to, to get exactly to the right place to score. And Kuchmi's done a very nice job of countering. Yep, the defense of Kuchmi has been resolute. It's just that one passivity point. Deservedly so. Favoring Acosta Fernandez. His right arm in a good massage. And Acosta Fernandez, he put in a lot of work there. Is there a risk that he's given up too much too soon? Did a lot of work for little reward. Very little reward. I feel like he took some brief moments and really went after some uh, a headlock and a pass by. I think he still has it in him, but uh, Kuchmi also is going to need to make some attempts for the officials to say, I'm going to reward you with passivities against the Costa Fernandez. Yeah, he didn't do very much as an attacking force. Michaela Kuchmi. Can he find something here that you created? Costa Fernandez has a slight advantage. He's going for it again. Costa Fernandez again changing his directions pretty well, moving from left to right and trying to get to the underhook on the right hand side. Nice snap down by Kuchmi. Don't push me, says Kuchmi. It's a Costa Fernandez having to work for it now. The man in blue. This is going to help him a little bit. Kuchmi again. Takes the wrath of the referee. I 
I'm interested to see who's going to get the next passivity point because one of them will receive a point. A game-changing moment in the offing here. Both men tied up in the middle. Are they going to be tied up on the score? Costa Fernandez flirting with the edge there. I would love to see an ex explosive technique right now, just going for a big duck under or a snap down, go behind, and it would be so nice to see an explosive technique. The center of the mat is where they've been wrestling, and uh, they, I, I just don't feel like either have used uh, their position to score as of yet. They haven't gone through their full repertoire yet. Acosta Fernandez has that slight advantage. Can he convert? Kuchmi looks exhausted. The referee looks closely at him. Into the final minute, more or less here. You heard it for yourself. Two points on the board now for Acosta Fernandez. I have a feeling they're going to probably award Kuchmi with a point too because Acosta Fernandez does have one passive. We've seen a lot of two to one scores. Going head to head there, literally. Referee doesn't like the look of it. It's two and a caution. Not confirmed. Jason Bryant there filling us in that the match chairman and judge said no. The headbutt didn't count. But the punctuation mark now, last 30. Kuchmi trying to reach over the top. Acosta Fernandez slips to the ground. It's more precious second slip away. I, I think that was an early whistle because he had snapped him to his knees. Acosta Fernandez didn't grab a leg or anything. I felt like that could have been an, an excellent action by Kuchmi unless he used some sort of illegal hold to pull him to his knees. That seemed like a, a good attack. Yep, but more than useful. Not just a good attack, good defense from Acosta Fernandez, who, by way of a couple of passivity points. History has just been made the first medal in wrestling in Chile. History is a bronze medal, and it belongs. Oh, you heard that their history made? First Chilean medal in the history of their wrestling program. Freestyle, Greco, or women's freestyle. And so, Acosta Fernandez has made history for the country of Chile. He had to work for it. And he will, I'm sure, jump around later. Acosta Fernandez. Exhausted, but 